Hi, this is Lauren Fogelman at ExpertSportsPerformance.com, working with highly driven, motivated athletes on having more focus, confidence, and the ability to effectively deal with distractions during competitions for consistent peak performance. Today's topic is the truth about Jared Weaver losing his cool on the pitcher's mound as the temperatures have been rising outside during the summer, so have the tempers among baseball playing players leading to lots of multi-game suspensions and fines. During a recent Angel Tigers game, uh, pitchers Jarrett Weaver and Justin Verlander were going head to head. It was a really, really hot game. It was great to watch. And then a series of events began to happen where Justin Weaver began to have a crack in his composure. All of a sudden, things began to get under his skin he became frustrated, leading to anger. As a result of it, he made some poor choices. He felt that he wasn't getting respect from the other team. As a result, he wanted to teach them a lesson that you can't diss him. Therefore, with Alex Avia, who was just the next batter up, he threw a pitch hard to his head. Now, as you know, pitchers in professional baseball have absolute control over the ball at all times. They know exactly what they're doing and that was really an unacceptable pitch. One of the things that Jared Weaver was complaining about was the code of ethics being broken. Well, he broke it as well when he threw that high pitch and that wasn't the way to be able to regain respect and integrity from the other team. Because of that, there's a series of things that happen that cause him to have that crack in his armor leading to the uh, poor decision to go ahead and throw that high pitch. And I'd like to go ahead and review those. The first thing is integrity. He talked about this code of ethics that the other members were violating, but then when he took it things personally, he went ahead and violated the same thing. Therefore, it's important for you to have integrity all the time. Otherwise, you're giving other people a lot of information about what really gets to you and that becomes a way of giving them control over who you are. The next thing is composure. As these things began to get under his skin and he began to take things personally, he was changing how he perceived things. He was, and what he was angry about wasn't even what the problem was. He was blaming these other players being disrespectful. The bottom line is, and the truth of the matter, what he was really angry about was he was giving away some home run hits. He threw home run hits, bottom line. And that led to this meltdown with him. So because he was angry at himself, he was looking for others to focus his anger on, which caused a meltdown in his composure. Have you ever had that happen to you? The next thing is his temper. As these series of events began to happen, his temper began to rise, and because of that, his decision-making process wasn't as sharp as it was before. All of a sudden, he was considering doing things that he never would have considered if he still felt that he had the upper hand of the game. So integrity, composure, tempo, all things that could lead to performance problems become distractions when you're in an event. And therefore the solutions are, first of all, your game face. Your game face is similar to a poker face. It's not letting the other team members read what's going on underneath inside your head. Not letting them know when something is getting to you. It's having composure, staying consistent, and really being a professional. Therefore, your game face is really, really important. It gives you the upper hand at all times because it doesn't allow other people to know what you're really feeling and to give them the upper hand instead. The next thing is to adapt. When something is going uh, against you, you know, when it's not going in your favor as you would like it to go, then you need to look at all the variables. There's certain things you cannot control, which is other players, hits, and the environment or conditions. But what you can do is look at what you are able to control, which is your attitude 
and your execution, and then go ahead and adapt your game plan or your strategy for those circumstances. And the third thing is respond. Once you go ahead and look at what's going on, then you want to strategize how to shift your game plan and then respond appropriately. And that will keep you in control over the things that you are able to do differently as opposed to getting upset because it's something that you have absolutely no control over. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about mindset techniques to really strengthen your mental game, I'd love for you to go to my uh, website, expertsportsperformance.com, put your name and email address in the upper right hand corner, you'll get my uh, free special report, how to avoid the seven mistakes even the best athletes make. It's free to you, go ahead and read through it, you'll get some tips you'll be able to use immediately. And the other thing is, I'd love to hear a comment from you as to what you thought about this topic for today. Look forward to hearing from you. Lauren Fogelman, expertsportsperformance.com. More focus, more wins.